Micro hitch style number two, C in. So in C in, we're taking our focus and we're bringing it just to our mental screen. Our mental screen is what we see when we close our eyes and it's either in front of or behind your closed eyelids. So let's see if we can find our mental screen. So close your eyes and just notice if you see a screen. It's often grayscale. There might be bits of light that pop from the bottom or the sides. Some people see waves. Some people see sort of um, like speckles in it. All that's fine. It's just your mental screen. So now that you've found your mental screen, in this mindfulness technique, we're going to bring our focus there and see if, with our attention and focus, just on our mental screen, any images pop up. So it might not be totally clear, but you might see a person you know, or a place that you've been, or an object. If that happens while you're doing this short mindfulness exercise, you're gonna label it C. So you'll notice that it popped up and then say C out loud or say C quietly to yourself in your head. I'm gonna go 30 seconds and see if anything pops up in our mental screen. If nothing pops up, that's fine. Just enjoy the mental screen. If something does pop up, just label it C. It doesn't matter what pops up, just label it C. All right, let's go. 30 seconds, C in. If it's just kind of abstract shapes, just focus on those. If an image pops up, label it C. And beautiful, open your eyes. That's C in. C in is really useful if you're overthinking. Often when we are overthinking, there's actually a visual element to the thoughts that we're having. And um, if you can break apart the parts of thinking, then you won't be losing you know, yourself and your thoughts as much. And so it might be things that you regret that have a visual image, or might be things you're dreaming about in the future that have a mental image. But by looking at, by being able to see what's on your mental screen, you can break that up, it can have less power over you. It's also a really useful exercise if you're lost in thought <laughs> um, or lost in thought and you have to be present just to bring you back and go, all right, I'm here. I see my mental screen. You can get more present in the moment. It's also a great concentration builder. So you're about to go, you, you wanna concentrate on something. You can go, all right, see my mental screen. Notice if I'm seeing anything and it can bring you to the moment. Later on, as your concentration skills grow and they develop, you might play with purposely bringing up certain images in, certain, in order to feel certain emotions. But right now, we just wanna pay attention to if anything pops up, on our mental screen so that we can build concentration, sensory clarity, and equanimity. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow where we'll do here out. Thanks.